Good morning. Welcome to the Bird Tales. Looks like I'm going to be doing this for another year. Today is Minnesota's grouse opener, and I am at a state forest. And I got Skip in the car, and we're going to take off into there and look for a grouse. But before I do that, I have to tell you about my previous week of bird hunting. So last Friday, Will and I hopped in his pickup truck and drove out to eastern Montana. Like, I want to eat there, you know? Like, that's the, like, that's the yeah. kind of, Like, <laughs> we're in western North Dakota, like... Our hopes were high, but the weather was low. Well, good morning. Today is our hunting day. One of our hunting days, one of three. But, as you can maybe see out this window, <clears throat> it is pouring rain. It's still raining, but not nearly as bad. And the first day was basically a bust. It's the morning of our second day. We're putting gas in. Yesterday, sucked. 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 Um, we drove three hours west. We flushed one covey of Sharpies a long ways out. I mean, it just, it rained. And then when we finally said this is far enough, it was still kind of raining. So we ended up just getting soaked to find that one covey of birds. But let's, let's show you the cherries on top of everything. So here, number one, the windshield of Will's pickup truck was just replaced on June 30th, and then this happened. I don't know if you can see that. I dropped my cell phone in the parking lot at the hotel. That shattered. Will stepped in dog poop. True story. Barefoot. He barefootedly stepped in dog poop. So that was great. And then, anything else disastrous yesterday? No, that's enough. Yeah, that was enough. It sucked. But today is a new day. Uh, it's like 45 degrees and the sun is shining. We're up early. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Well, so here I am on my cell phone, but I wasn't on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. I was checking the map to see where the boundary of the property we were hunting was, which was coming up just in front of us. And I heard Will say, hey. And of course I wasn't ready for those birds to flush. But thankfully there was a straggler and Will was able to connect. Will, Will. Yay! <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> Let's walk over to Skip. He's still standing on point. Now I'll tell you, if you came to this video hoping to see some excellent dog work or excellent shooting, you've come to the wrong place. Uh, Skip is about to flush, not point, flush my very first Hungarian partridge. And there's no way I was going to let it just fly away. Whoop! Whoa! Whoa! Hungarian partridge, William! Woo-hoo! So Will and I talked and it was kind of weird that only one hun flushed. So we worked the area just a little bit more. Whoa! Whoa! Check out my uh, own! <laughs> we did it! We did it! <laughs> there was another one! <laughs> I got to the corner of this property and I was just standing there uh, beside the fence waiting for Will to catch up to me when all of a sudden a single uh, Sharpie flushed. And if you're thinking you shouldn't shoot at the single, you should shoot at the covey or you should keep walking closer because there's going to be more birds and of course there was and luckily I hit one of the other birds out of the group. Hurry up William! They all went right down there! 
and I was trying to explain to Will that he needed to hurry because those birds only flew maybe a hundred yards and landed in the grass. So I did a big circle move, came from the other direction, and uh, it was kind of pandemonium for a little bit. Whoop, whoop. And then this was our last bird of the trip. Um, we actually were driving back to the hotel through some block management and saw a few Sharpies land in this grassy area. So we thought we'd go after them. And uh, that tends to be a problem for me because if I know there's birds ahead, that's when I screw things up. And uh, I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn uh, when I know that's gonna happen. That was sad. Whoop. Thank you, William. And that was it for Montana. Uh, the next day we were supposed to hunt. We got up in the morning, we sat in the hotel and talked for a little bit and it was just raining and raining and raining and raining. I think while we were there, uh, one of the guys told us they got 2.8 inches of rain uh, and that was before the next day's rain. Um, and so when I got home, when I got home, I t opened up my weather, and uh, northeast Montana, where we were staying, uh, was in a flash flood warning. So I'm glad we got out of there when we did. But that was it. Now I got to get hunting. So uh, watch for this episode of Rough Grouse Hunting to come out in the future. Um, we'll see what happens. I appreciate you watching. See you later.